hello everyone so today we are going to solve this question that is remove element so the question is that we are given an array of some numbers and we are given a target value and what we have to do is we have to remove all the value the target value from this array and uh, only take care of the numbers that are not equal to this value and we have to move it in the front so this question is similar to the question that is given above so you can check that before solving this uh, this question so that is the specific case and this is the general case for the same uh, same question so in this what we can do is we can uh, try the similar approach so the approach is that we will try to swap the elements if they are not equal to this value so we will initialize the maximum valid from 0 and the total length of this array now we will iterate from 0 to the length of this array and if the current value is not equal to this target value then we will swap this so we will swap the nums array and the index will be i and max valid and the swap function will be void because it is not returning anything and the arguments will be the array the first index and the second index now this is a simple function to swap two numbers so the temp will be the number at i then the number at i will be replaced by the number at j and the number at j will be replaced by the temp that is that we had stored now this one will swap the numbers and every time we have to increment the maximum valid by one so at the end the maximum valid is the total number of numbers that are not equal to val so we have to return the max valid so this is the approach now we can run this code okay okay now it is accepted so if we take this condition for example and first of all the time and space complexity so the time will be linear because we are taking only one for loop and the space will be constant because we are not storing any array we are just storing some constant values so this is the time and space complexity and how this algorithm is working is for i is equal to 0 this will be our array and the max valid will also start from 0 okay so now we can try this with an example if we have taken this example and initialize the max valid with 0 and i with 0 so currently we have this array now when i is equal to 0 this is 0 and this is not equal to 2 so we will swap this so now the swapping will be done from i uh, from the 0th index and to the 0 index so the final result will not, ch uh, will not change so it will still be this one when i is equal to 1 so this is for 0 1 now when i is equal to 1 this is 1 and this is not equal to 2 so we will swap this and after we had swapped at 0th index we will increment the max value so this will be 1 so as both are same this will not be swapped 
so the final result will be still same now when this is 2 this is equal to this so we won't do anything and we will just increment i now when i is equal to 3 this is also 2 so we don't need to do anything and i will be incremented now when i is equal to 3 uh, this will not be incremented now i is equal to 4 so this is the number at fourth index so this is not equal to the target value so this will be swapped so we will swap the numbers at index 4 and 1 4 and 2 because in this also it will be increased so after we swap this 3 and this 2 so it will be like this now when i is equal to 5 the number at index 5 is 0 this is not equal to 2 so we will again swap this so at fifth iteration this will become 0 and this will become 2 now at i is equal and we will increase increase the max valid and now i will become 6 and i will max valid will now become 4 and when i will be 6 it is 4 so this will be swapped with this value and for now i is equal to 7 and 8 like for the further values we have only 2's so this is always equal to this valid so we don't need to swap anything so this is how this will work and finally the max valid here will be 5 as we had changed this one so the total number of numbers that are not equal to this valid is 5 and we will return the max valid so this is how this algorithm will work thank you for watching the video and do like comment share and subscribe the channel if you like the video and the code will be given on my github page you can check out the link in the description thank you